Hey, welcome back to another guitar lesson. Today we're gonna learn how to play Charlie Puth's new song called Attention. For this song, we have a capo on the first fret. All right, that's all we need. And uh, this song has got a really interesting uh, intro riff going on. So we're gonna look at how to play that and then also look at the chords and the strum pattern. And I'm also gonna show you how to play some of the lead parts if you wanna learn that in the end. All right, let's just talk about the chords first. We're using four chords in this song. Uh, for the entire song, only just you know, only four chords are being used. So D minor, C major, A minor, and B flat. All right, let's take a look at how to play the intro and the verse. Uh, for this part, we need to first take a look at what's happening in the right hand to get that sound that that you know is there in the song. This is different from this this sound. Because we're using palm muting. So for that, you have to place your palm right over here, you know, just where the strings begin. Place it like that. Now you have to place your palm uh, right over here because if you put your palm away from the bridge, you know, like somewhere over here, you know, you're not going to get you know, you're almost changing the pitch. So you want to make sure that you have to stay over here. You place your palm over here, then you get a nice sound. All right, so now usually we do palm muting on the upper strings. You know, we do it on these strings, but in this riff, all the notes are being muted. So when you go on the first string even, you're going to still have to uh, have your palm on the first two strings as well. So, you know, like that. So uh, what you're going to do is, as you start moving down on the riff, you can, you know, place your palm, you can, your palm can go like this, you know, like this, and then up, like that. So your palm will move up and down, depending on where you're picking. Because when you come to A minor, we're using the fifth string over there, and we're using first string as well, you know? So as you can see, my palm is, you know, going up and down a little, because I wanna make sure I cover every string every string is uh, muted all right so that's how you get that sound i want to i wanted to show you that first now let's take a look at you know the notes that we're using on the four chords the first chord that we're using is d minor you need first fret on the first string third fret on second string and second fret on third string fourth string is open so first you're going to pick the fourth string third string second string third string Right, so string number four, three, two, three. Now I'm showing you over here because you can't see my hand clearly when I go, you know, down here. So first we're gonna learn the notes uh, without using palm muting, and then after we've learned the whole riff, you can apply palm muting on the entire thing. All right, so you're gonna play fourth string, third string, second string, third string. All right, four, three, two, three. Then you have first fret on first string. Then you have open on first string. All right. Then you pick second string and third string. All in all, you get string four, three, two, three, one, one, two, three. All right, so that's what is happening on D minor. Then you come to C over here. So for this chord, you need third fret on fifth string, second fret on fourth string, open on third string and first fret on second string. First string is open. Here you start by picking the fifth string, picking the third string, picking the second string, first fret, then you pick third fret on second string, and then first string open. So you get, all right. Now the next chord is A minor, but on this riff we are playing it a little differently it goes like this. So here we have open on fifth string, open on third string, first fret on second string, and open on third string again. So five, three, two, three. Then you pick first string open, then you have third fret and first fret on second string. So then you pick third string again open. So on A minor you get, 
sorry, once again. Alright. Then you go to B flat chord, and over here you're going to pick. So first you have first fret on fifth string, then you have third frets on fourth string and third string, alright? You're gonna have a little bar or you can play it like this. Alright. Then you have first fret and third fret on second string. So all in all we get. Alright. So if you put that all together, D minor. C, A minor, and a B flat. You're gonna play this whole riff two times for the verse, just once in the intro and then two times in the verse. And then for the pre-chorus, you can continue with this riff if you want because um, for the pre-chorus as well, we're using D minor, C, A minor, B flat. Whole song we're using the same chord progression, so you can throw in this riff in the pre-chorus as well but I like to use a normal chords over here I play simple strum pattern, simple down strum in the pre-chorus on D minor, C, A minor and B flat I know that dress is coming I feel regret I'm thinking about you I'm repeat again to the chorus of the song, right? You just wanna touch you The strum pattern that we can use in the chorus is down, up, up, down, up, down, right? Down, up, up, down, up, down. Once again, that's just one of the many strum patterns that you can use. Up, down, on each chord. You just wanna down, up, up, down, up, down. Go to C major, down, up, up, down. Then you go to A minor, down, up, up, down, up, down, and B flat. Repeat that all over again. You just wanna touch come to the next verse or uh, second verse same as the first one then you come back to the pre-chorus you know I feel that in the pre-chorus just one down strum is enough for all the four chords and then you get back to the chorus here yeah, just want to touch then you come to the bridge of the song. Let's see how to play that. For the bridge, we're gonna use same strum pattern as we did in the chorus. So, it's the same strum pattern, down, up, up, down, up, down, on each chord. So D minor, down, up, up, down, up, down, C. flat that's the bridge you know it's the same as the chorus and then you get back to the pre-chorus again this is the third pre-chorus now a minor b flat all of that repeat this once again and then you go to the chorus one more time this is going to be the last chorus of the song same as you know the rest of the chorus here yeah, just wanna the whole thing the whole chorus you know how to play it and then after the chorus you come back to the outro of the song and that outro is basically nothing but the bridge so the same chords that we use in the bridge that is same chords in the chorus you're just gonna play that till the very end of the song all right, so uh, the, 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 once again, the outro is nothing but the bridge, the same lyrics, the same chords. All right then, that's how you play Attention by Charlie Puth. 
Now I'm gonna show you how to play the lead guitar part that I was playing in the demo. All right, so the first part goes like this. Repeat that again. All right, so this one goes like this. You've got second fret on third string, then you have third and fifth fret on second string. Then you do a little slide up and down from five to six and then six to five again. All right, so the uh, frets are re relative to the capo over here, right? So, come back to three on second string, come back to two on third string. So, then after that, here you have open on third string, one and three on second string, slide from three to five on second string. If you want, you can slide back again from five to three so like that all right and then so here we have one on first string so one three 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 all right four times over here on third fret so one three 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 and you know i'm lifting my finger to make sure uh, that it's muted right afterwards so one three 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 all right Come back to one, go to three, and then do a slide from three to five, and then go on five again. So, all right, repeat that all over again. All right, that's what I played in the demo. If you want, you can extend it, you can play the chorus as well. So here you start by picking five on first string, five, three, one, open on the first string, right? Five, three, one, open. You do a hammer on from three to five on second string, go back to three on second string. Then you do again five, three, one on first string. And you slide from one to three on first string and three again. So and after that, so this is three, one, open, one on the first string, all right? So here you have one, three, open, open on first string, then one, one on second string, second fret on third string, and you slide from one to three, go back to one on the first string. All right, and you're gonna repeat this whole thing once again. Okay, so uh, that's how you play the little lead guitar part. Um, you know, some people like to learn it, so I like to show it whenever I can. Make sure to check out how to play more songs on my channel. You can check out loads of different songs that you can play. Um, go, just go to my channel and you'll find them. Thanks for all your support, all the comments, all the likes, everything. I really appreciate it. I'll, I'll see you guys next time. Can't wait to see you for another guitar lesson. Until then, take care and bye.